In this video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the Google Assistant on an Amazon Fire tablet. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Like I said in the beginning, what we're going to be doing is installing the Google Assistant on an Amazon Fire tablet. And how we're going to be doing that is we're going to be using the Amazon Fire toolbox. All right, so what we need to do is install the Amazon Fire toolbox onto our computer. And that is very easy. Just have to type in this link, bit.ly slash toolbox one, two, three. All right, so it has to be exactly like this. Notice I have a capital T. This is case sensitive, so you must have that capital T. And once you have that typed in, just hit enter. Now that is going to take you over to this site right here. And this is where we're going to be downloading the Fire Toolbox. So the Fire Toolbox, it kind of tells you a little bit about it here and the compatible devices. Um, we just need to keep going down until you see the download section. Um, but you want to just download the latest version. So we're just going to tap on the 10.1 here. That's the latest version as of recording this video. And we're going to click on installer. All right now that's going to start downloading in our bottom left corner here. All right now once it is downloaded, it will look something like this. So just tap on that and that should open up the installer. All right, so this is what the installer looks like here. So I'm just going to do what's recommended here. And you can also create a desktop shortcut. Sure, let's go ahead and do that. Click on next and now click on install. All right, once the installation is complete, it will ask you if you want to launch it. So we're going to go ahead and launch this and click on finish. So this is what it looks like when it starts up. And basically it says that no device was detected please plug in your Fire Tablet. Um, it also gives you some other tips here as well. Um, so what we're gonna do is just go ahead and plug in our tablet and see if it will recognize our tablet. Now you can see that the Fire Toolbox has not recognized our device, and that is because we need to do some stuff on our device. So what we need to do first is go into our settings, and then we need to go down, and you want to find device options. Once you go into device options, you'll want to go to about Fire Tablet. And here you can see the version of my Fire Tablet. This is a Fire HD 10 ninth generation. And what we need to do is enable developer options. So how we do that is we just tap on the serial number. Now I already have this activated, but as you tap this, it's going to show a message at the bottom and it's gonna say, keep on tapping until you are a developer. And then once you are a developer, it'll say you are now a developer. Once it says that message, tap on the back button at the top here. And now if you go to the bottom here under device options, you can see that we have developer options. So if we tap on developer options, um, what you have to do at the top is just turn that to be on. So right here, toggle that to be on, and then just tap okay to this message. And now what we have to do is we need to find USB debugging. If you have an older device, this will be called ADB debugging. Whatever you see here, you just want to enable the debugging. We're just gonna to toggle that to be on and we're gonna tap okay. All right, and now it has recognized our computer and all we have to do is tap on always allow and tap on okay. And every time we connect in the future, it'll just connect without showing this message. So now that we have our device connected, you can see that we do have the Fire Toolbox and we have a main menu and we have all of these different options. But what we want to do is we want to install the Google Assistant on our Amazon Fire tablet. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to tap on the Google Assistant option here and it's gonna tell you a little bit about it. So all we have to do at the bottom here is click on Execute Tool. All right, so now you can see some stuff starting to show up on the tablet all those Google applications at the bottom. And it tells you what it's doing over on the screen in the black. 
All right, so over on um, the Fire Toolbox, let's go ahead and go to Google Services. So let's go ahead and install the Google Services. So we're gonna go ahead and click on Execute. Right now you can see the Play Store shows up on our tablet and it did pop up with this warning. Let's see what this says. It's recommended that you give Google Services at least 10 minutes before signing in Waiting will ensure Play Services has enough time to fully update to the latest version. So basically they're saying wait for 10 minutes for the Google Play Services to update. So let's see what happens if we tap on the Google Play Store. All right, so the Play Store does open. All right, so I am logged in. And let's just go ahead and try to download like Chrome. All right, so it pops up Google Chrome, and let's go ahead and install that. All right, so it did download Chrome. Let's go ahead and try and open that. Um, now, another thing we can do is we can go to Google Services now again, and it's gonna open up some new options, um, clear data and clear cache for Play Store. Let's go ahead and do that. So you can see it's clearing the cache and data for all of those, those things there. Now let's see if we can open the Google Assistant. Tap on Google Assistant. All right, so now it does actually open. Uh, so that's good. Search for Simply Smart 123. I found these results. All right, so it searched for me here. Hey Google, what's the weather going to be like today? In Carolina Forest today, it'll be cloudy with a forecasted high of 52 and a low of 44. And tomorrow, there'll be scattered showers. All right, so you can see that um, it did respond to my voice. But you can see that now we can use the Google Assistant right on our Amazon Fire tablet using nothing more than our voice. So that is pretty cool. Now let's also see if we can use Alexa at the same time as well. All right, so let's go over to our settings and tap on Alexa here. And uh, I'm gonna tap on hands-free mode. All right, let's go back out. Alexa, what's the weather going to be like today? Currently, in Myrtle Beach, it's 53 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect rainy weather with a high of 54 degrees and a low of 42 degrees. All right, so you can see that Alexa works there. Now let's try the Google Assistant again. Hey Google, what's the weather going to be like today? It'll be cloudy there today with a forecasted high of 52 and a low of 44. All right, so you can see that it does work hands-free. So now we have not only Alexa hands-free on our tablet, but we also have the Google Assistant as well. So that is awesome that you can have both of them on the same device. So if you have any issues, maybe wait 10 minutes like they did suggest. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video video.